Chick, and today's video is going to be about your Christmas uh, gift list. So if someone asks you what you want for Christmas, I've got some great ideas for you to give them as answers, and we're even going to have links to, you know, help them find these items. So um, I have this uh, on my website, Whippy Chick Crochet. Um, if you are looking for me online, it would be www.whippychick.com. And over here at the top, I have a section called freebies. So if you click on freebies, just give it a second to uh, upload everything. And um, there's a Christmas list there. So we'll take a look at it. Let's just get everything uploaded first. If you haven't visited my website, there are lots of fun free things here. There's a little project organizer and my ear flap hat pattern. Um, some cheat sheets. Here's a how to make an eight stitch flat circle and a 10 stitch flat circle. So lots of fun things. Posy headband. Um, yeah, I have other other patterns on here as well as, as those ones up above. But here is my Christmas list uh, for 2022. So you can go right to my website and this will be there and you can just open it right up. And here are a lot of different ideas of things that I would love. For Christmas um, if someone were to ask me what do I want so the first thing I actually have this and I highly recommend it is the art bin um, it's wonderful so we'll open this up we'll just click on the link now um, it art bin uh, dot com it is out of stock I did notice that but this thing is um, Yes, yeah, see down here it says availability out of stock. I have seen this in other places too though, so you could probably just search it out on Amazon. I actually found it in the store right at Joann's. So it's out there, it's available. But it's called the Yarn Drum, and um, it's for knitting and crochet. It's a tote bag. It does come in different colors. This one happens to be raspberry, which is the color I have. And this pocket here in the front, this mesh pocket, is made from like a, a rubbery material. It's very sturdy and uh, it's not going to rip or anything like that. And it's got this zipper. This thing unzips completely. And um, it's got these holes at the top that you can feed your yarn through. I believe it holds up to eight skeins. So it's really, really cool. I love it. Love this. Perfect for taking your items everywhere and um, and pretty sure it is waterproof. I've never had any problems with anything spilling on it and getting it all wet inside. It's perfect. So that's a great idea. If you don't have one, I highly recommend it. So the next item on my Christmas list um, are the glue cosset um, neck lights. So my friend Melanie over at Hook to the Left um, reviewed this and she thinks it's wonderful and it, it looks like a great thing um, for crocheters. So it um, it's rechargeable. It looks like you just plug it into a USB port and uh, you can charge it up. I'm trying to get off of this uh, magnifier here. <laughs> uh, it looks like it's $19.99 uh, available on uh, Amazon. It's got uh, different brightness levels and bendable arms, and it's great for crocheting or knitting, um, reading. Um, I was thinking coloring as well would be great. Any kind of craft really be fantastic. So I'm eager to give these a try. All right, next item on my list is my ball winder. I love this laces bind ball winder. Um, I have one myself. I've used it for a few years now and have had, have never had any problems with it at all. Um, I did do a review on this particular ball winder and that's available on my channel if you want to check it out. But it's available on Amazon for $33.81. And um, yeah, I stink and love this. If you don't have a ball winder, I highly recommend this one as a starter. You don't have to spend a fortune on a ball winder for, you know, for it to be a good one. And, and if you look here, there's like that notch right there. That's where you would put your yarn in so it stays in place. And then this little um, like spring looking thing here that keeps the tension 
nice and this little dial here is what tightens it to the table and of course you've got your candle to turn it with so yeah really cool love the lace ball winder all right let's move on next item on my list is my clover pom-pom set just used it the other day when i was finishing off a hat i love the clover pom-pom set um, i happen to get mine at michael's but um, they're available all over the place uh, and you've, of course it's available on amazon what isn't um, but this retails for eleven dollars 92 cents and i tell you what it is worth it if you are making hats because it's got four different sizes super easy to use and again i did have a um, review a uh, video for this and on that review video you can also see how to use it so it's pretty easy and in my opinion it's the the best way to make pom-poms hands down <laughs> okay let's see what's next on my christmas list here stitch markers <laughs> and needles of course right everybody's going to use these and not super expensive but you know 120 uh, piece pieces here we've got all of the stitch markers you could want and um, all the needles in different sizes uh, I love the stitch markers that are the rubbery kind because they don't snap I've had the crystal ones that are very pretty to look at, but they snap so easily. Um, so for just the basic stitch markers, anything like this is perfect. You know, that rubbery, flexible kind of stitch marker is great. And for, really, $4.99, can't beat it, in my opinion. Okay, the next item on my list. This is actually in my Amazon cart because I love this bag. I think it's so pretty. Um, it says knitting backpack, but of course you can use it for crochet as well. It is water resistant. We'll look at some of the different pictures here. Look at all of the stuff that this thing holds. I love this like front pocket here where you can put so many different hooks. Look at that, there's so many different kinds. And I love that the elastic bands um, are, diff are, are like a wider size, so you could put in some ergonomic hooks if you wanted to. Um, but it also holds knitting needles because a lot of us do both. I, I know I crochet and knit, and I know there's a lot of other people out there that do as well. So it does have the uh, individual holes so you can feed your yarn through without it getting all tangled up. So I do love that as well. It's just awesome. I just love this bag. And I just love how pretty it is. It's just so pretty. I love that it's pink. Let's see if I can find some other good pictures here. This um, shows the measurements here. So it looks like it's 40 centimeters high, 32 centimeters um, wide, and 21 centimeters deep. And you can see that the, the side is where you would feed your yarn through. And I like this picture because it shows you what it looks like from the top of the bag looking in. And you can see there's still some individual pockets in there and lots of room for some small skeins. I love this bag. Can you tell? Okay, let's move on to the next item on my crochet uh, crochet Christmas wish list. Okay, so this is another really cute um, hook bag. This is really just for your hooks, um, but it's just so pretty. I, I just love how pretty it is. Look at the pattern on there. And the inside of the bag just has a lot of pockets and little places to put your notions and nice big um, spaces to put your hooks so that you know you can fit in your ergonomic hooks if you want really like that it opens up kind of like a book which is pretty neat I like that too there's another view of the inside and you can fit some knitting needles in there as well. 
I don't think that they're awful big knitting needles though. Here's some other photos of the outside. And it looks like it's a, a decent sized bag. I mean, you can tell by how it looks with her holding it. So that's pretty nice. Next item on my list, I would be lost without my row counters. Um, this is the Clover uh, knitting stitch counter. I don't know why they call it a stitch counter. Nobody counts their stitch with one of these. This is really a row counter um, to count your rows. Um, I do have the Clover one. Mine is the red one, but um, they're all pretty much the same. They work pretty much the same. But um, yeah, it's always good to have one or two or three. <laughs> Okay, so the next item on my list is a car decal uh, to, to put on the window of your car. I think it's really cute. So let's open up that link. And of course, there's all different kinds. Look, there's lots and lots of choices. This is just one that I happened to pick. Um, but I love lots of different ones. I just think they're really, really cute. <laughs> I don't know, let, let everybody know how much you love to crochet. You know, put it right out there on your car because you never know, maybe you'll meet another crocheter that way. You can form a big long friendship. <laughs> so this particular one is eight inches long and it's about $5 on uh, Amazon. But like I said, there's all different kinds. Just, you know, if this isn't one that you'd like, but you, you think that's something you would enjoy having, just not that particular one, like maybe you like a different style, just, you know, go ahead and go ahead and do a search. I, I wouldn't have thought of the window decal, though, until uh, a friend of mine got one. So it's a nice idea. Okay, next item on my list. Of course, who doesn't love a good fun t-shirt, right? <laughs> Look at this. It's so cute. This one makes me think of my friend Ginger. <laughs> it's got the funny cat on it, and she's buried in, you know, a big ball of yarn, and it just says, I'm okay. <laughs> And that says Ginger the Yarn Geek to me. Um, of course, just like with the decals, there's so many different kinds of funny crochet t-shirts. This is just one of hundreds, probably thousands of different crochet t-shirts. But um, for a crocheter, it's, you know, it's kind of a fun thing. Here's, um, here's a funny one that says, I crochet because murder is wrong. <laughs> and it shows a picture of this cat crocheting. So just really funny, funny t-shirts out there. There's lots and lots of them. So that's always a fun idea to give to a fun crochet person. Okay, uh, next idea I have is jewelry. Um, I loved the look of this charm bracelet um, and it says crochet diva on it. So we'll take a look at that bangle bracelet and see what we think of that. Again, there's lots of different kinds of uh, crochet related themed jewelry out there. This just happens to be the one that, that I liked and I picked up. Didn't pick up, picked out, excuse me. <laughs> so let's take a look at it. It looks like this one retails for $27.78 at Lynette's Jewelry Test. Uh, this one I found on Etsy and I, oops, and I think Etsy is uh, kind of the better spot to find things like this. So there's just different pictures of the, the bracelet, but um, it's cute. It's got the mittens and the scissors and the little charm that says crochet diva and a little scarf and a little ball of yarn. And of course, a little sparkly bead on there as well, just to give it a little bling. So really cute. So yeah, that's, that's another idea, have some crochet themed jewelry for your crochet friend. Okay, the next item on my list is the Basic Crochet Stitches book um, by Erica Knight. I actually have this book and I love this book. I love to find new stitches and find ideas for what I can do with those stitches and I've developed a, a few patterns using this book. So, um, Yep, this is of course available on Amazon for $22.95. Love this book. 
I actually found my copy of this book in my local yarn store. So, Okay, the next item on my list are these beautiful little scissors. I just, I love pretty scissors. I have a pair myself that are like green and polka dotted, but this pair is just so pretty. I love all the colors. But again, like everything else, uh, you know, there's fun ones for every, every taste, every um, style, you know, everybody has their own individual tastes and styles. So um, these might not be the scissors that you like, but it's an idea, right? Of, you know, if someone asks you what you'd like, say, oh, you know, I really like uh, pretty scissors for my hobby and I kind of collect them. And yeah, there's, like I said, for everything else in, in this list, there's, you know, thousands of them. And they're not super expensive and they don't have to be. I mean, you're just cutting yarn, you know. So these ones are $6.99 a pair. Um, I love these ones too that look like the crane or the swan. I'm not sure, you know, what the bird is. <laughs> okay, the next item on my crochet uh, Christmas list is um, the blocking pads. I don't have any of these and one day I'm going to get some because someday I might actually block a project. Um, so these are some blocking mats. There's again just like everything else there's lots of different kinds. Um, I just thought that this looked like a, a good set um, here. So this shows uh, someone blocking out their doily and let's see you can assemble it in different ways. So, um, you know, for, for different shaped garments or projects. Um, it is uh, three quarters of an inch thick, so that's pretty good. You can pin it right down. And I like that it has um, the little storage bag, so you can store it easily in your closet or your craft bin or whatever. And that's just a fun picture because I have a feeling neither of them can knit. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look at the next item on my list. This is the last item on my list, actually. Who has enough room for all of their yarn? Answer, nobody. <laughs> so here's a really cool storage solution for yarn. Um, I thought this was really, really neat. So I am going to click on the link just so we can take a look at it on Amazon. But there's, you know, lots of different hanging organizers and storage units but um i thought this one was just pretty cool this is the coupe yarn storage hanging and knitting bag it's got three hooks so it goes over the door um but i like that it had these nice uh, kind of big bags that zipped up and yeah, i thought it was a good idea good yarn storage idea especially since it does seal up so it kind of protects your yarn from you know dust and that sort of thing. There's some different pictures of it. I'm not sure I'd hang it like that and have it part of the decor, but you know, to each his own. So, uh, that's a great idea. Maybe every door in your house could have one, right? <laughs> Okay, so that, uh, I think that was the last item. Yep, that was the last item on my crochet wish list um, or Christmas crocheters, cr crocheters Christmas list. I don't know what to call it. Oh, here we go. The crocheters Christmas list for 2022. So again, if you'd like to take a look at that or you'd like to see any of the links, you can find them right on my website, www.whippychick.com. And then just at the top of the screen, go over to the freebie section and you will find the list there. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.